Hey guys, if you're here, you probably know the crushing feeling of losing someone that you deeply care about. Well, my heart goes out to you. It's an awful feeling. I know it myself. Your heart feels like it's in a vice and you don't know how you're ever going to live without them. You can't sleep. You can't eat. You're obsessed thinking about them and all the good times that you shared. And you're probably worried that she's out there trying to find your replacement right away. And because you're not thinking straight, usually you do the absolute worst things you can do that only end up driving her further away. Well, if this sounds like you, you're in the right place. In this video, you will learn the three main reasons she breaks up with you that are within your control. Two, the reason the no contact rule works and why so many guys get it wrong. Three, the biggest critical mistake most guys make trying to get their ex back. And number four, the only message you should send, but you should send it during no contact, which will actually completely shift her feelings and change the power dynamic. If you're new to my channel, I help men find, attract, and keep their keeper. Okay, let's jump right in. So first of all, the main reasons, the three reasons she will leave you that are within your control. One, you smothered her. If you were acting needy, desperate, clingy, controlling, or jealous, then you ultimately pushed her away by smothering her. On the opposite end of the scale, the other reason, number two, is you were too aloof. So maybe you never did open up. You were closed and you were emotionally unavailable or you never were able to connect in an intimate way. Or maybe you started off being connected and eventually you slacked and started taking her for granted. This is something that usually happens in longer term relationships. And then number three is you really did mess up in a big way. Either you lied about something significant, either an addiction or an STI or some kind of serious money troubles or you cheated. Yeah. So. The good news is don't despair because these are things that you can take responsibility for and therefore you can change. If she's broken up with you because of something you've done or neglected to do that she needed, well, that's fixable. Now here you're asking, okay, well, what do I do, Anna? All right, well, the next part is going to feel very counterintuitive, but you have to remember that if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got. So. The first step to getting her back and making her regret leaving you is the no contact rule. If she left you because of one of the three things I mentioned or something that you did that was fairly significant, the no contact rule, the no contact time period allows her the time to romanticize about the good parts of your relationship without having to keep you at bay. So you must stop initiating contact with her with one exception. And I'll share that with you in a minute. But in the meantime, no texting, no phone calls, no instant messaging, no social media messaging, no cyber stalking, no smoke signals, nada. Even if you messed up big time. And this brings us to the biggest mistake most men make when trying to get their ex back when she's broken up with him. And that is begging, trying. If you instantly upon breaking up, try to beg her to come back or beg her to forgive you and start giving her everything that she's been telling you she needs, whether it's more intimacy or more space, well, that's actually going to work in the opposite way because she knows it's just a desperate attempt to get her back. It only comes across as you being selfish, not attractive, because there hasn't been enough time for you to really change. And even worse, if she thinks you could have changed, but you didn't while you were actually together, then she's going to resent that you didn't change when you were actually together. So key point, this is why it's imperative. No matter if you have changed, you think you can change overnight, great, but still she's not going to trust that unless there's been time, a reasonable amount of time for you 
to consider the breakup and to work on yourself in a way that actually will naturally affect change. Habits take time to change, to integrate. So it's natural for her to assume it's not going to happen overnight. So you need to give her time and space. Now, as you probably heard elsewhere, the typical amount of time for no contact is 30 days or approximately a month, but that's not always true. And I'm gonna give you a surefire way of knowing if you've given it enough time later in the video as well. Because if you contact her too soon and you're not at this specific marker, then nothing's going to change. You're just gonna end up getting back together. It's gonna to be the same thing and you're gonna go through that heartbreak all over again. Okay, now let's look at some no contact tips. Just the tip. One, again, avoid sending any kind of messages begging for forgiveness, begging her to come back to you, saying that you've changed. That only screams desperate and needy and low value. Does a high value woman want a low value man who's desperate and needy? No, of course not. It also screams I, 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 me, 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 which is selfish. You don't want her back so she can be happy. You want her back so you can be happy. Two. At the same time, don't send mean messages. No one wins when playing the blame game. If it's you, you, you did this, 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 and it's your, your, your fault, well, that's not going to work either. That's no incentive for her to come back, especially, remember, if this is something you did that drove her away. Emotionally healthy women don't go back to men who only point the finger in blame without accepting any responsibility for their part in the breakup. Now remember to stick with me to the end because I'm going to share with you the one thing you should message her with and when it might take longer than 30 days before you should message her again. Number three, don't check in with her on social media or mention her to mutual friends. What? I know. Didn't say it was going to be easy, but this is the surest way to get her back and have her missing you. Your words will get back to her and she will think you're even more desperate by trying to communicate with her through those friends. And you know, you've probably done this hoping that they will tell her. Uh -uh. I know I told you it's counterintuitive, but you've got to stick with me. It's the only chance you'll have. Instead, you need to create a feeling in her that she's the one who's going to miss out by not coming back to you, or if she doesn't hear from you soon. By not chasing her, she wonders if you've already gotten over her and why, and she'll start to wonder if you are out there looking to replace her. Then she'll have the opportunity to start pondering if she's done something wrong in the relationship. She'll question herself. Now, during this time, it's critical to act like you're over her, even if you're not. But key point, this does not mean acting bitter. If you act bitter or resentful, it actually sends the opposite message. It says she's still affecting you and you're not over her. The best way to get over feeling desperate and lonely or bitter and resentful is to focus on fixing the things that are not right in your life. So whether you slacked off in some area during the relationship, or maybe there's an area you've always slacked and you should actually focus on it. That's what you need to do. Doing that will help you become a man you respect and key point, as I've said in many videos, women mirror your feelings about you. Now, what about the only time to initiate contact during no contact? Okay. The sooner you can get to this message, the better. Now, if you've already sent a bunch of sappy messages, that's okay, don't worry about it, you can't stop that. But here's what you can say next. But make sure you've given at least a few days of not contacting her, or it'll just seem like another desperate attempt. So, if you've at least had a few days of no contact, then here's what you're going to do. You're gonna reach out to her, either by phone or text, however you normally communicate, and you're gonna say something like this. I understand how I messed up, I apologize, and I agree we need time apart. What? I know, exactly. Wait a minute. She's thinking, I broke up with you and now you want time apart? What does that do? It tells her that you are actually contemplating what went wrong in the relationship. It also further tells her that you are capable of living life without her and you might move on without her. It shifts the power dynamic back to something at least more neutral. You're owning up to your part without groveling. Key point, 
You don't want to start getting into a back and forth conversation about who did what and, you know, getting into a big, long, drawn out thing. Just go back to, I think we need some time apart just to sort through what happened. If you do that while she's chasing you, then you will actually be in the driver's seat. You might even say something like, I need some time to recalibrate. Let's talk after we've both had some time. Okay, now what about when you should wait longer than 30 days to reach out? Here's the litmus test for you. If you still feel acute bitterness, resentment, desperation, or neediness, you're not ready to reach out. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed enough to change into a new relationship if you get back together. And you will only end up repeating what's already happened and she will leave you again and you will be even more crushed because you will end up ruining the relationship while it's still fragile. Remember, key point, you can't lose something or someone that is truly meant for you. But if you don't fix what was broken in the relationship to begin with, even if by some miracle she does come back, nothing's changed and you're going to go through the whole cycle again and it's going to feel even worse. My heart goes out to you. Hang in there. Not from a rafter. Big hug. God bless.